Good evening. Welcome back to the Lord of the Rings LCG progression series. As always, I'm playing solo, and tonight's quest is the Dunland Trap, the first adventure pack of this cycle after the Voice of Isengard expansion. I'm playing a new deck that I built for it. I'll show the deck. Here it is. Uses Celeborn, a couple of the Sylvans, a Bjorn, Glorfindel deck, primarily. We'll see how it works. That hand looks fine. Uh, for the setup, I need Old South Road to be the active location. And I need to search the encounter deck for one Boar Clan enemy. So I like to start with this fellow. And after that, got a doom counter and if the doom counter goes off I lose my hand and draw two cards and it usually will go off. So to start the game when I draw a card he has a forced ability. When I draw he makes an attack so he'll attack Bjorn. And it's a plus one so plus two if the defending character is undamaged so it's three damage. Not a good start. Now, do I have anything I want to play? Yeah, I want to play Sylvan Refugee. It's, it gets plus one till the end of the round. And do I want to play anything else? I don't have anything else to play, so just quest like that. And it's a location. I will probably just throw away both of these and reduce threat by six because they're going away anyway so three six seven eight nine ten eleven to two is nine progress so I clear the location which is good because if you don't it the doom counter goes off turn one gonna move there which means I do not draw a card during resource phase and the attack against Bjorn is just one damage, so then Bjorn can kill. He's a little higher on the damage than I would like. I'm going to play Defender of Ramas here. I'd like that to be the ally I end up with. And I'll play the Knife Guide as well. Use the ability on uh, Glorfindel. So let's quest commit Glorfindel as well, but he doesn't need to exhaust thanks to the ninth guide. And the card is... Oh, I need IO1 from the uh, Doom Counter from end of last turn. Another Plains of Ended Waith. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 2, 8 progress. Oh, uh, which card did I draw? I wasn't supposed to draw a card. Drew Arwen, that goes back. Clear that location. Do not draw a card during the resource phase again. And at the end of the turn, the Doom Counter will go off, which means I discard my hand and draw two cards. And then we're on to the next turn and threat up, but I don't draw a card. However, I can play Arwen. We got two on the Doom counter again. And do I want to play Arwen or should I just push through? I'd like to have Stewart out. It's probably not going to happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I probably need... Nah, uh, I can play Arwen. Or I wouldn't clear this turn. Do I care about that? I'm in a reasonable position, but I think I'll try to clear in two turns. So I'll save our one. The card is attached to the current quest. 
after I draw any number of cards, I deal one damage to a character I control, and it surges into a must assign X damage among characters where X is the number of characters I control. So one, two, three, four, five, six damage. That hurts. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. But I do end up clearing whether I really want to or not. And uh, that'll be discarded now that I'm not on that quest anymore. So this is the new active location. Discard items and mounts. Discard all but one ally. Search for a boar clan enemy and put it into play. Engage with me. Gonna go for this guy, because he's zero zero until you draw a card and he's gonna die before I do. Alright, so that will be the questing phase. Move, nothing to do. Battle, he can attack. Till the end of the round, attacking enemy cannot take damage. That is a terrible shadow card to draw. Alright, well. When revealed, put Chief Turch into play, engage with the first player. This We advanced at the end of the combat phase, by the way. And now we put five time tokens on here. And we're basically just running out the clock. To win, we need to outlast the time clock. So, one off the clock at the end of the round. And ready up. It's basically just a matter of playing chump blockers now to stay alive. Cards for Feely, and I think I'll play Steward on Glorfindel. And then I can get out Arwen as well. Alright, so who do I want to quest with? Her, him. Uh, when I drew a card, I should have added a resource token there. So he's going to require two to take him down. Alright. That should be fine for questing, just the five. Well, if I could clear that, that'd be great. If I throw Glorfindel out there too, that should do it. Maybe one of the dwarves just to be safe. That should be good. Okay, so it's a two, so that cost me one threat with Glorfindel. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll give the shields to the defender of Ramas. Nine to two, seven progress. One, two, three, four, five, six. That will help. And I'll move there. So now the attacks. See how lucky the defender of Ramas is feeling today. Shadow card? Nope, not lucky. He's got five to six attack. He did. And the attack on Bjorn is doesn't get through the shields, it's for one. And I'll have these two take out that enemy. This guy can't leave play, so there's no point in damaging him. Alright, one off the Doom Clock, on to the next turn. I don't draw a card. Let's quest those two, that should be enough. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, that should be enough. Okay, so it's a three. Clear this location. Uh, this enemy is going to engage, which takes one off the doom clock, thanks to this boss. After an enemy engages, remove one time counter. And then we have attack on Bjorn, and attack on Keeley. 
Attacking enemy gets plus one for each shadow card, doesn't matter. And this shadow card is a dud. So zero attack doesn't get through the shields. Can do five back. One off the doom clock and on to the next turn. That's not useful, but I can go ahead and quest for five. That I've been forgetting the steward of Gondor, but it doesn't matter. Uh, two threat to five is three progress, but no matter. And he's going to engage, and that's going to end the doom clock. So after the last time counter is removed from the stage, this player makes engagement checks. Then each engaged enemy makes an attack. All right, so five there, two there. Attacking enemy gets plus one, doesn't matter, plus two if undefended. And this one is attacking enemy gets plus one for each shadow card, so three to one is two damage. If a hero is destroyed, if no heroes are destroyed by these attacks, the players win the game. So that's the end of the game. A uh, pretty clean playthrough, I'd say. Keys to this quest. I actually think that Celeborn and the Sylvans are fairly strong in this deck early because they help you clear out that location at the start. And they're cheap. Maybe they're just strong in general, but I don't know. Could have been there's a lot of different heroes that would have worked in that slot. A lot of different combinations. Yeah. Bjorn is the real workhorse here. He, uh, he does work against this encounter deck. Because they're all around, like, all these enemies are all around 5 health. So Bjorn kills them in one hit. He's really strong against a lot of smaller enemies. Anyway, thanks for watching.